Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is a roller of radius R equal to 300 millimeter and weight Q equal to 2000 Newton is to be pulled over a curb of height H equal to 150 millimeter by a horizontal force P applied to the end of a string wound around the circumference of the roller. Find the magnitude of P required to start the roller over the curb. In this problem given is a roller of radius 300 millimeter and weight 2000 Newton is to be pulled over this curve of height H equal to 150 millimeter by applying a load tangentially here as shown in figure. So in this problem we need to find the amount of P required to roll this uh, roller over this curve. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. First let us see forces and reactions. The weight of the roller Q is acting downwards at the center of the roller and load P is applied tangentially here in this direction and reaction at A, RA is acting in this direction and a line extended from along this RA must meet at E at this point. Now let us see geometric parameters. So here we form a right angle triangle O, D and A. In this triangle this length is R that is radius of the roller and since this is height h so from here to here o to d is r minus h so d to a will become square root of r square minus r minus h whole square now let us see another triangle here triangle e d a this is also a right angle triangle that is drawn here in this triangle let us call this angle is theta so this length e to d that is from here to here is r plus r minus h that is 2r minus h so this distance dea we have just uh, uh, calculated that is r square square root of r square minus r minus h whole square so now let us see in this triangle tan theta can be written as tan theta equal to 2r minus h divided by square root of r square minus r minus h square so that is written here so after substituting the values and simplification we get theta equal to 60 degrees now let us draw force triangle. So first let us take Q. Q is drawn here uh, parallel to this arrow here. And at the end of Q there is P parallel to this is drawn here. And at the end of from the end of P RA that is reaction is drawn parallel to this line here. So all these three forces form a right angle triangle. So this angle is theta that we have calculated in the previous slide that is 60 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees so if it is if this is 90 degrees and this is 60 degrees then this angle will become 30 degrees now let us apply sign rule for this triangle sign rule is p by sin 30 equal to q by sin 60 that is also equal to ra by sin 90 that is written here so from first and second terms we can write p equal to q sin 30 by sin 60 so after substituting the values and simplification we get p equal to 1154.7 newton so this is the amount of p that is required uh, to roll this roller over this curve of height h that's all for today's video if you like this content please like share and subscribe thanks for watching